Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to today's video, which is finally the long-awaited scrub slash medical workwear haul. If you guys are new here or if you don't know who I am, my name is Julia and I recently just graduated as an x-ray tech and I'm about to take boards in seven days terrifying. In North Dakota, we do have a temporary license, so I am able to work while I wait to take my boards exam. Right now, I am working as a full-time x-ray tech, and then I also fill in in the lab and do different waved tests, such as the urinalysis dipstick tests. I do the HIV sticks. I do phlebotomy. I do the strep tests. I can also send things out to our Department of Health, so I kind of do a lot of different things, but to do all of those things, I have to wear scrubs. Thankfully, I am able to wear black and then any colored undershirt that I want. Also, while I was buying all of these scrubs, it was basically the start of the pandemic, so everything was pretty much shut down. One of our local scrub stores was open, so I was able to buy a few different pairs of scrubs there, but they were really limited with their selection. So I did have to purchase some online and unfortunately some of them don't fit how I would like them to so that is why I wanted to make this video to kind of show you guys what the scrubs look like on me. So just for reference I am 5 foot 3 so I'm pretty short so I don't have to wear petite um, size pants or anything but usually in scrubs I'll wear a size small or some brands I will wear an extra small. So I will kind of talk about that when I get into all of the different scrub brands that I have. And then I'm also going to talk about my scrub undershirts, which everyone constantly is asking me where I get those from. So I will finally be talking about that. And then I also have a pair of shoes that I wanted to talk about and an Apple Watch band. So first I'm going to start out with my Apple Watch. So I think I have a series four, maybe it's a three, I'm not sure. But this band is super cute. It is kind of the very popular polka dotted print. It matches my wallet. I have a pair of shoes that have this pattern. My phone case is speckled. My laptop case is speckled. We just love speckles around here. This is really cute and it's also not real leather so you can easily wipe it off with a cavi wipe or any type of sanitary wipe. Um, because obviously with working with healthcare, you want things to be able to be easily sanitized. Next, I'll talk about the shoes that I purchased for my job. So with working in the lab, we do kind of have to have shoes that won't soak up anything, if that makes sense. So you can either wear like the clog type of shoes or waterproof shoes. So right now I purchased a pair from Vessi, V-E-S-S-I. Of course, I'll link everything down below, but just for reference, that's how you spell it. But basically they are waterproof shoes. So all of the body of the shoe is waterproof. Obviously, if you were to get like the top of the shoe wet, water would go inside, but it's nice for if you do have a spill or something, it won't absorb through the material. I've been wearing them for the last couple weeks. They're definitely not as supportive as other shoes, so if you are working in a facility where you do have to be on your feet constantly, like you basically never sit down, I would recommend getting a shoe that has more support. I personally wore Brooks when I worked a job that did involve that, and my feet definitely felt a lot better. I also wanted to talk about masks. So with being in healthcare, of course, we always have had to wear masks for surgery, droplet isolation, things of that nature. But right now where I work, I do work at a clinic. So when we're not doing patient care, the higher ups at the clinic do prefer us to wear our own cloth masks. So we're not wearing the procedure masks. So when coworkers are around each other in a space that can't be maintained with six feet. They do prefer us to wear cloth masks. So I personally really like these ones. I have a very small face. I'm a small person. So I have a kid size mask. This is what they look like. I got it at Target and I think they were $3.99 or $4.99. Very inexpensive and it comes with two. And if you do have like a filter or something for your masks, it does have a little pocket for you to put that in. If they are available online, I'll link them below, but I do recommend checking out your local Target because that's where I found the kids ones. The long awaited part, we'll get into the actual physical scrubs part of the haul. So the first pair I have are these Med Couture. I think they're just like a slim, slim leg. I'll try to link everything down below. I did purchase these ones at my local scrub store, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to find the identical pair, but I thought it was really cute because it had this like ruffle trimmed edge, but the fabric is really, really weird. It's like a very swishy athletic material, which is nice for having to like bend in your job rolls, but I don't know. It's like very swishy and if you have any type of leg hair, it hurts. The one thing about Med Couture is that the seams aren't made 
the best i will kind of point that out in some of the other med couture items that i have next is my favorite brand and the most expensive brand figs i'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about figs they are kind of all the rage because they kind of came out with the jogger style scrubs i don't wear the jogger style scrubs because some facilities actually don't like you to wear them i think it's probably like a sanitary reason for having your ankle showing so i do purchase the straight leg skinny scrub pants from figs they are so soft so comfy this pair has a zipper on the back right pocket i don't ever put anything back there it's almost like a cargo style so it has a lot of pockets all over but i just love figs so much it also has like a little loop here if you wanted to attach anything onto it but i just personally really 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 like figs i have never had an issue with the quality of them so that's the first pair of scrub pants that i have from figs and the second pair of scrub pants that i have from figs are these ones that have like an elastic backing to them i'm the type of person who likes to tuck my shirts in because they are really long on me since i am so short figs does have petite bottoms but they don't have petite tops at least that i know of so figs if you're ever watching this please come out with petite tops because i would really appreciate it they have kind of a double pocket that my phone will fit in so when i'm walking to and from work i can just slip my phone in my pocket and then it has a zippered pocket on the side the one thing i really like about figs is these cute little ties that they have on the drawstring I really like them and then there's a tiny little pocket on the top here when i did look a couple weeks ago pretty much everything on figs was sold out it was very very strange so not sure next is the very first pair i ever purchased which is by gray's anatomy i purchased these from allheart.com it's just kind of a generalized scrub store that sells so many different brands but these are gray's anatomy by barco they looked really really cute on the model but they look very very strange on me they're like baggy in the weirdest places like at my knees but if i pull them a little bit higher they're the right length so i definitely could have benefited from getting an extra small in this brand i would particularly size down if i ever were to repurchase these another strange thing is that these strings are not the same size and they're like sewn in the back like they're not connected they're sewn right here i do wear this pair of scrub pants i have three pairs that i rotate through i would say the fabric is pretty similar to figs so i do like that about this brand but yeah i was just kind of disappointed with the sizing of this because it's kind of inconsistent with all of the other scrubs that i've worn but i don't know i still like them for the most part but they're not the first pair that i would gravitate toward in combination with that is this gray's anatomy by barco spandex stretch top which is ginormous on me like huge so i don't ever wear this one i am probably going to donate this because it just doesn't fit me so unfortunately i couldn't return it so to go with that pair of pants i do have a med couture top of course the materials and the colors can vary sometimes so just be careful with that if you do buy different brands even if you buy the same brand like i bought this top to go with that other pair of med couture pants that first pair that i showed and they don't match at all like they're completely different materials completely different colors which is strange because like black is black you know i did get an extra small on this one it fits really nicely and um i don't have to tuck this one in which is great the one thing as you can see here like i mentioned with the seams i'll try to like come in close if you can see right here there is a string that's coming undone from the collar which is disappointing and then i just pulled it out the other day when i was taking my pen out of my pocket but there is some strings here as well like look how long this one is just with this brand i've really seen that there are a lot of strings that come off of the seams so i'm just hoping that one day this doesn't fall apart while i'm wearing it because that would be super super bad and then the two figs scrub tops that i have this one is a little bit different i don't love this one but i wanted to purchase another figs top just to have for the rotation of my scrubs but it has three buttons here which is okay but the weird part is that it has like a sweatshirt pocket inside pocket only goes halfway so there's one on both sides and then this middle one goes all the way through like a sweatshirt like a hoodie and that has a little pocket here so this double pocket makes you look pregnant when it sits on your stomach so i don't really love that and it looks goofy if you tuck it in so i just live with it it doesn't matter what i look like at work honestly but yeah i just thought that was kind of strange this is my favorite top from figs this is the katarina one pocket i believe i tucked this one into my pants and i think it looks stylish i don't know there was this one um i think he was a 
I don't know if he was a cardiologist, but he was the nicest person ever at the hospital that I used to work at. And he had the figs jogger scrubs and then this top and he would tuck them in and he just looked so stylish and like someone who could be on Grey's. Last but not least, the thing that everyone asks me about, where do you get your undershirts? So my undershirts are by Med Couture. So again, you have to fight with the seams. This one I don't wear as often. This is the color that I had to wear for my hospital job with the ortho department. I wear size extra small in these and they fit great. They are the softest material. They're very, very stretchy and just very comfy. And I haven't found that they pill yet, so that's great. But I do get these ones discounted at our local scrub store. If you are like a local employee and you show like a, an employee ID, you do get 20% off of every purchase, which is great. And then I also have a striped one, again, an extra small. As you can see here, the label is definitely coming off and I'm sure that's from just washing it too much, but I haven't had any struggles with the seams on this one yet. I have this pink one, which always makes me look really tan when I wear it in videos and stuff. Haven't had any seams. Well, this seam is kind of coming undone as I'm seeing that, but again, extra small. It looks like it's the 8499 style, if anyone's curious. My personal favorite, the black one, and also the one that has the most struggles. Look at this, you guys. Like, I don't even know what to do about this. It's the whole, like, double seam here. And if I cut it, it's gonna come apart. So I do just need to be careful with that and mindful when I use this. It's just kind of disappointing, but I just like to wear the coordinated black on black on black. <laughs> and the very last one is this light blue color. I like this color a lot. It's the Performance Stretch Activate. And I don't think I have had any issues with seams on this one. So it's definitely just hit or miss with the seams and the wear and tear of them. But unfortunately, that's what happens when you buy online. So scrubs are very expensive and I'm totally aware of that. And I'm very thankful that I am able to have the brands that I do with these. But like I said, I prefer to have the quality over the quantity. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very soon in a new one. <laughs>